If you take a look at your tire sidewalls, there is a lot of information on there. Some of it is important, some of it is not so critical, and all of it is difficult to understand if you don't know what you're looking at. So, we're gonna tell you what to look for and what it means in this video from the MC Garage. Tires are a pretty unglamorous part of your motorcycle, but they are very important. And there's some important information written on your tire sidewalls, if you know how to read it. The most obvious and important piece of information you're gonna see is the tire size. Rubber from the 90s or tires made specifically for older bikes are gonna use the older alphanumeric system. Modern tires, however, all follow this format. The first number you're gonna see is the width, listed in millimeters. After that, you've got the aspect ratio, which represents the tire's height as a percentage of its width. So in the case of this Pirelli here, it's 180 millimeters wide, and the height is 55% of 180, which works out to about 99 millimeters. I know, you gotta do math. As a general rule, when it comes to aspect ratios, a shorter sidewall is going to yield more grip and better handling, since it makes for a larger, stiffer contact patch. Meanwhile, a taller sidewall is going to offer you a more compliant, comfortable ride. Next up, we've got some letters stuffed in between the numbers here. On this Rosso 3, it says ZR, and that Z is actually a holdover from an older form of speed rating. What's important is the R, because that represents radial tire construction, which is one of two different types of tires rolling down the roads today. If it said B there, or if there was no letter designation, that would mean the tire was a bias ply of one form or another. But we are not gonna cover tire construction right now because we're saving that for another video. In the meantime, we've got more numbers. The 17 here represents the wheel diameter. After that, you're gonna see MC, stands for motorcycle, and then the service description. The service description is a three-figure code that gives specific information about the tire's weight and speed ratings. The weight rating comes first and is a two-digit code that indicates the upper limit of what the tire can support. Next is the speed rating, which is a single letter that corresponds to the maximum speed the tire can go while supporting that maximum weight. Because the load information is so important to safety, it's going to be spelled out elsewhere on the tire sidewall. There's also gonna be a PSI rating associated with that. That pressure is for maximum weight and speed scenarios and not necessarily the recommended riding pressure. For that, you're gonna to wanna to check the sticker on your swing arm or on your frame or check for the recommendation in your owner's manual. That being said, if you're on a bigger bike or a heavy touring bike, the recommended pressure may actually match whatever is inscribed on the sidewall. There's a lot of other useful information and symbols on the tire sidewall. There's the directional arrow, which is pretty self-explanatory and determined by the tread design. There are also tread wear indicators, which help you keep tabs on your tire wear. Then there's the DOT code, which is a long string of numbers and letters, but the important bit is in the oval at the end. That represents the week and year of manufacture, and as a rule, you want your tires to be five years old or younger. In the case of these Pirelli Rosso 3s, the tire was built in the 26th week of 2017, so these things are very fresh. Finally, you're gonna see a dot on the sidewall of the tire somewhere. When the tire is manufactured, it's inflated and spun, and the manufacturer is gonna do you the favor of marking the lightest part of the tire with a bit of paint. The idea is that you line up the dot with the valve stem, which is considered to be the heaviest part of the rim, and therefore the wheel will take less weight to balance. There's other stuff on the sidewalls, like warnings and regulatory info, but that pretty much covers everything you need to know to buy replacement buns for your bike. So there you have it, a crash course on decoding tire sidewalls. If you wanna know more, we put some links in the description, including a pretty good technical site from Pirelli, plus charts for load and speed ratings. That's it for this video from the MC Garage. Hope you learned something. Until next time, ride safe.